Hello everyone, it's uh, Rad. Uh, welcome to my channel Radku Tarot and uh, this is going to be a disclaimer that needs to stand in front of every video I do. So if you this is the first time you are here, welcome. If not, and should you wish to proceed, well, you can fast forward into the reading that it is ahead of this disclaimer. But as a disclaimer, I need to advise you that this is a, a general reading. Um, of the representative star sign and for that reason because tarot is very personal divination tool and does require narrative which in personal readings appear to be your question or the situation that you are describing uh, the read the general reading may or may not resonate entirely with uh, with your situation and if it resonates that great if it doesn't i do apologize for that but sh i'm yeah, and I wish you the best, you know, with some, with the situation that you're trying to cope with. But um, if you wish to proceed with the um, personal readings or uh, you wish to follow me on Facebook or on YouTube, you know, all, all of that or visit my website, all of that is going to be written in the description the box down below. And uh, thank you for watching in advance and uh, now lay back and uh, enjoy the video. All right, so we have Libra on our hands now, and uh, just uh, for a uh, weekly tarot reading, December 9th to December 15th, 2019. And uh, bear with me just a couple of seconds, guys, to uh, make the shuffling, and we're gonna jump into the spread. By the way, I have changed the spread, so it's an eight card, eight position tarot spread, no elemental dignities whatsoever. Uh, it is because it's quite complex and really takes a toll on me. So with the hope that I'm going to make those videos a little bit more chill and um, like laid back chill and, uh, you know, easier for me to record. I change the spread just to see how it goes. OK, so uh, the first card here, which stands for uh, the topic and the theme of the week uh, for you, Libro, we do have the Hierophant card. Standing next to it, it is the uh, surrounding energies. <clears throat> so the energies which are supporting the week, and that is the, the topic of the week, that is going to be the Seven of Pentacles. Third card represents the challenges that you will have to stand against throughout the week. That is going to be the Death card. The fourth one, it's uh, referring to the blessings and the gifts that uh, the week is going to present you with. Uh, that is going to be the Two of Cups. The fifth card here represents how people are going to see you, uh, what, what kind of a person you're going to be in their eyes. And that is uh, the Page of uh, Pentacles. Afterwards, we do have uh, the, um, uh, what was it? The sixth card was uh, what is going to help your goals. You know, things that are going to help your goals. Uh, that is the Four of Cups. Uh, the seventh card here, it is uh, things that are, going, that are going to act negatively to your goals. Or it's kind of like what hurts your goals. That is going to be the Five of Pentacles. And the last one, it is uh, the Guidance that Tsaro is offering to you. We do have the Judgment card. So pretty straightforward reading is what we do have here. <clears throat> and it is related to someone that can become a, a dear, like a dear person to you. All right. So um, these two cards need to be examined together because they are tightly related. So we do have the topic and the energies. And it looks like that uh, the week, uh, how can I describe it? Well, the week is going to be focused on around a, a, a kind of like very decisive and a big move that you have to do. Now, because I looked at the other cards, it's most likely I am moved toward a person. That's why I said that it looks like that you're going to have someone dear here. And... Um, oh, this is going to be an, a result of a, a meticulous preparation or a performance beforehand. Now, the only problem uh, with you, Libra, it is the Seven of Pentacles as an energy, which kind of breeds a bit of an inactivity. It is kind of like being more um, cautious and more hesitant than you have to be and missing any a good moment of opportunity. Now, what you need to know here uh, with those two cards is that throughout this week, whatever, whomever you are to uh, associate yourself with, um, is, um, how can I say it? Uh, 
the trust that you have into this person is going to amplify and, and vice versa as well. I mean, the trust that that person has in you is going to uh, amplify as well. And according to Taro, uh, the true love can only lay down on a foundation of a trust. If there is no trust, there is no true love whatsoever, okay? So the first step here is going to be done for you, Libra, for what it seems. But once again, at the end of the day, it is your decision. Should you grasp on it or should you not grasp on it? Now, uh, that uh, decision here is going to relate to the challenges, however, that the week has in store for you, and that is going to be the death card. So, um, there are going to be uh, things in your life that are into flux, and they need to be let go of, and that is going to be the challenge that you will have to uh, that you will have to overcome, or kind of like differentiate yourself, separate yourself, or let go of uh, those kind of aspects, things like uh, past relationships, you know, for example, people of interest that th things can never happen in between you two and so on and so forth. Um, you have to dump them in the recycle bin and just go along with, uh, with the natural unfoldment in general because the Hierophant card is all about a um, how can I say it? Ordinary. It's not even natural. It's more like a ordinary uh, unfoldment. So we are talking about a uh, endeavor here, which could appear as a uh, business endeavor, or I do suspect that it's going to be a relationship endeavor that is a, a follow up. It is not something that you can uh, that is going to come as a, a surprise to you throughout this week. You already have your flirting let's say this person already asked you out on a date okay it is not a brand new one this is what i am trying to say and um, the challenge here is not to hope for a miracle okay uh, but only to rely on your on the results of your own personal performance and every hope for a miracle or kind of like every hope that something yeah, something out of the ordinary is going to happen, needs to be let go of. Right? That's uh, that's the challenge for you uh, throughout this week, guys. So the other card, uh, which is the gifts and the blessings that um, the week is going to offer you, we do have the Two of Cups, pretty obvious. This is going to be either a, a very good potential for a love interest here or to expand the love you already have. Uh, the other interpretation, it is a, a very fruitful union, a and and excuse me, a, a cooperation in between two people. That could be a business venture, all right, where the two parties are doing exactly the same amount of um, performance in the endeavor itself. So no one feels that it is kind of like overkilling or it's overdoing. Uh, stuff or their part of the bargain, if you will. So uh, the gift here is to feel that you are t cherished, to feel that you are loved, to feel that you are um, recognized, I would say, and that uh, it's basically your efforts have been acknowledged and the other side is grateful of your efforts. It's generally, it's grateful that you are around. So how do people are gonna see you um, throughout the week? We do have the page of pentacles. So they're gonna see you as a potential interest. That is the best thing, how I can describe this card. In a more milder way, how the people can see you is as a very devoted and determined, not determined, devoted kind of an individual who at that point, it's kind of like scaling or is assessing, is it, um, is it worth going on on this venture or is it not going on? Is it or is it not worth moving on forward with uh, this venture? Uh, in either way, uh, you're going to make a strong impression with the youthfulness of your spirits. So that being said, uh, try to empathize more with people around you. But the page of pentacles, especially in a romantic front, uh, it's, I could say that definitely a friend of yours sees you as something more. Uh, it's just, it is within this card's orb. It's kind of like that person is going to see you as a something more. And probably they have asked you for a date. They are going to try to make another approach. Highly advisable with these cards is to give them a, a chance. 
So the next one, it is what is going to help your goals. Now we are moving into a more uh, wider topic because the goals this week could be just a milestone for your goals. And we do have the Four of Cups. Now the Four of Cups is telling us that it is likely that you're going to find yourself on a good spot, good foundation. It's kind of like also probably a good achievement that you have behind your back. But right now, Throughout this week, there are, there is going to be that kind of a, uh, it, it will seem like a remnant of an opportunity that you are to be quite hesitant to take in regards to your goals, right? And it will require from you a quite acute mental strength and awareness as well to take it, to take the opportunity, which you should. So take it this way that even though right now you may find your life that there is no movement whatsoever there is an opportunity residing around you you just need to open your eyes and grasp on it the other card here points what is going to hurt your goals and that is dwelling into the instability here with the five of pentacles or making the problems bigger than the than the problems actually are so you may find yourself throughout the week surrounded by problems but they are trifling ones i mean you can simply ignore them and they will stop existing so for that reason it's um, this week is very important to be uh to be objective i would say libra and to really see or kind of like acknowledge toward where the wind is blowing and don't try to force things that does not want to happen it will be best to focus on the things that wants to happen okay or at least it's advisable for you to do so with those cards and uh, the last one uh, it's the guidance and we do have the judgment so guidance wise, uh, this week is going to be a week of a wake up call for you. And uh, as I'm looking this card let me, and we go with the narrative here of a, a friend taking you as a, a bigger potential than just a friendship, that is going to be a big wake up call for you as well. Maybe back in the days you didn't have that impression into this person or you didn't find them that potential. But now throughout this week, it does look like that your impression is going to change. And the advice, the guidance is to answer that call, to answer this insight, to answer that, I would say, opening, if you will, because um, usually the judgment manifests itself as a very surprising kind of like a, a change of heart or a surprising event as well that really clears up your path toward a, a, a future heights. And it's highly advisable for you to take it. Only those who are stubborn are not going to. For example, people that are considering that once in a friendship zone, there is no escaping out of there, right? And although you, you want your criteria or your, how can I say it, self-imposed limitations does not allow it to, well, then that's the challenge. You know, that's the flux thing. And you have to simply wash it away with the death card. I mean, it's going to be challenging, guys, but it doesn't mean that you cannot make it. OK, so there are a lot of things for you to to to, to think about primarily uh, that are regarding your uh, limitations that you have placed in front of yourself, the obstructions, the criteria that you have for yourself as well. And once you reshuffle those things, uh, definitely uh, the life or your environment will present you with much wider varieties of options. So that being said, Libra, this was your weekly tarot reading. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And uh, we're going to see each other next time. Until then, 